everybody, Chris here from Jetsim Flight uh, with a few little updates, uh, really minor updates. I've uh, been doing quite a bit of work trying to get uh, some seats done. So, uh, got uh, the bottom of uh, the seat and the back done for the captain side and just the back done for the uh, first officer side. So I'll show you here with what we got here. Nice little folded seam here at the top. And this will uh, have a few more things to do here in the top. We're going to put a little piece of uh, one by uh, two uh, half inch thick strip across and around the edges here uh, to make it look more like the actual seats. And we still have a you know, headrest obviously to make. But uh, you know, there's those seats that we made, you know, that we had the other video for. The, there's the top part. Um, and then here's the back, obviously. And uh, you know, basically just kind of uh, stapled it with a really heavy duty staples uh, to the back here. And uh, cut around the edges so that we basically have no, nothing here past that edge, which will be visible. Um, and let's see what else we what else we got done today. So, uh, well, not today, but here recently uh, on the table here. Sorry about all the mess. As you can see, I'm doing eight bazillion things at once. But uh, did some panel cutouts um, for some pieces. Um, here we have uh, this is the APU control. So uh, and uh, my CNC machine. Uh, I, and I actually made a few mistakes on the on the design of this and uh, as you can see my my black marker markings here are actually the corrections that I want to make so uh, that I can go back and fix these and uh, the PCB board basically mounts here back on the third the third layer that's the same level that it will be at and uh, it will uh, screw to this second layer here with uh, like PC board mount screws um, so that it's kind of hidden in the background and is just the right level to keep the buttons, uh, this this button and the square button here, uh, at just the right level. Uh, now, as you can see here on this one, uh, it didn't quite cut through because <laughs> I have a the piece on my board is actually a little uneven. Um, the the main uh, table piece is a little uneven, so it didn't quite cut through that one all the way. Uh, so. Uh, it's okay because we're going to redo this whole panel and this whole panel again because uh, there's just a few mistakes uh, that were made. So um, not a huge deal, but, you know, we, we are kind of making some progress slowly but surely. And, uh, you know, when it all when it all puts to, comes together, uh, essentially, you know, you're going to have a three-layer thick panel that's uh, it's roughly about seven, seven and a half millimeters thick total I think so uh, it's about 2.32 millimeters thick on each one of these which is uh, I think in uh, Imperial is just about an eighth of an inch and then I started doing the FMC I did the design just a few days ago all three layers again um, and I decided to cut out the top one and I actually put a 45 degree camphor on here chamfer excuse me uh, it's kind of hard to see with the thing, but uh, if you could feel it, you could see it. Um, and same thing for these buttons here, because on the actual aircraft, at least the, the Honeywell like 135, 145 series ones that um, that are used, all the pictures that I found had like a little bevel on the uh, basically the nav, the uh, perf, uh, the menu, and the next and previous buttons all had like the little uh, chamfer on them so uh, overall you know pretty pretty darn good to cut this panel out it took literally I'm not kidding 45 minutes to cut this panel out um, there were definitely some places where I thought you know my CNC the actual the NG output was not very good and uh, I'm hoping to reach out to uh, some guys that do some CNC on a definitely more regular basis uh, professionals uh, to kind of see about what I can do to fix that problem with it taking so long and uh, things like that because it was just it was kind of like all over the place when it really didn't need to be uh, but overall this looks pretty cool and uh, you know kind of show you the fit here where where I have it where it's supposed to go um, these were the little drawings that I had put on the thing before you know actually having 
anything and uh, you know I was pretty close on my drawing initially but uh, uh, this is the correct sizes according to some measurements I got off of uh, ERJ145.net I believe or ERJ, ERJ145sim.net uh, so pretty close you know on my drawings on the little boards that I had initially made um, but my my console I realize is actually just a little bit off it should be exactly two of these wide and uh, I'm I'm probably eh, 20 millimeters off in width so I'm gonna probably have to go back and rebuild the console uh, I've also been working on uh, the design for the throttle thing uh, the throttle quadrant and I, I'm actually using a design that I saw a, a guy uh, had made for an A320 uh, flight sim and I really liked the mechanics of his design, and so I, I put those together in SolidWorks. I just haven't actually built them together yet. Um, you know, obviously right now I'm still, <laughs> to fly the sim and everything, I'm still using the old uh, SciTech throttle quadrant, which which works okay. I'm only basically, I'm controlling both engines with just a single knob, um, which is fine. Um, but I think that's pretty much it for the updates. Um, probably have a video, uh, I just now did a flight in, uh, I basically used the sim as a 777 sim <laughs> earlier today, and probably have a flight uh, from there, just at least the the takeoff and the, the approach and landing part there from uh, a couple of uh, GoPros that I had up. There's uh, one, and then I had the other one sitting over here in the, the corner, kind of looking at the captain's side. Anyway, thanks so much for uh, watching, and if you're... Uh, Interested in Sims and stuff? Uh, make sure you subscribe below. Thanks.